This man, if you go to his channel, mm -hmm. this week he did a review and he did an interview. He mm -hmm. interviewed one of my sweetie pies from the 90s. Not <laughs> only did he interview this woman, but he gave her a joke that had her laughing so big her ears got wet from her teeth smiling. And Ooh. I was highly yeah. offended. Like I you. was you highly say yes. Every time was, that name comes through. I was highly taken aback that this man had the woman laughing that I'm supposed to be making laughing. And if y'all think Ooh. I'm lying, I got the proof. I got the Whitney Houston receipts. Take a look <laughs> at this. Boy. This is uh, E-Man from uh, E-Man's Movie Reviews out here in Chicago. Uh, for, excuse me one second. <sighs> Ms. Nia Long, it is such a pleasure to be able to <laughs> speak to you today. <laughs> I am uh, a longtime fan, and uh, <laughs> shout out to you on your very first producer credit. Um, by the way, oh, oh hey, you, you know Omar, Stephen, y'all cool too. Y'all cool too. You know, hey, you got it. You got it, bro. You got okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm just being stupid. <laughs> um, we're, we're enjoying. We're enjoying watching you do this, man. <laughs> Look, I, I just need my wife to skip this part. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's funny what's funny there was another like little bit of that video that did not make it i couldn't i couldn't get it from uh the critic association that recorded it but uh at the very 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 end of that entire interview you know everybody signing off everybody saying like okay all right thank you thank you all right see you see you bye bye and like as everybody's signing off on this big zoom call right I want to say it was like two other critics left and Nia stayed on the call. So I'm sitting there like, <laughs> don't let this go to one-on-one. -on -one. Don't you know? stay on this call. So like right before it cut off, I was like, all right, well, I can die happy now. Oh, Nia <laughs> chuckled her booty off. Oh, no, oh yeah. He's oh. the knife in the back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I couldn't let that get, it, it couldn't make yeah. it to the video, oh, but I just wanted to put it out there. That's, that did happen. Oh, that did yeah, happen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm living that, through man. your grace. I'm, I'm living through your grace. My man was so smooth that he had the other men on thing upset. <laughs> they talk about a smooth criminal. Michael Jackson yeah. up in the building. So they were, like, he, they, were, they, were bowed. they were like, we love seeing it. They were like, right, right. You know? I <laughs> thought they was I thought they was about to invite him to be on the next show that they do, or the next <laughs> movie that they do. <laughs> so E Man, the people yeah. are watching right now. I just gave y'all a clip. If you want to see more, you gotta go to the man channel and subscribe. He is a professional black reviewer. Give us your candid review of the movie. Fatal Affair, and then tell us a little bit about your interview. What'd you learn Man. about Nia Long specifically <laughs> that we don't know? You 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 want the interview first or the review? Larry, which one you want first, the review or the interview? Let's talk about the interview because we're okay. already okay. okay. Um, well, for one, you know the question that I asked her in um in, in that, and I won't reveal what she said, but like, you know, I asked a hypothetical question. The movie was about, you know, a fatal attraction, stalker, lover, triangle type of thing. And I was like, hey, what would you do different than your character if this ha if if what happened in the movie happened to you in real life? So I tried to ask like a very fun hypothetical question because you would think somebody would be like, man, look, after the first text, I'm calling the police or man, I'm, I'm pulling out the strap, you know, or something. You know, I'm thinking she's going to say something like that. Nah, she was like, I had real stalkers. I was like, whoa. Oh, so, so the interview just went a whole different level. And then Omar chimed in and was like, yeah, I also had a stalker. I was like, whoa. So you definitely want to go listen to their stories and everything during the interview, but that was definitely something I did not know. You know, I guess you could kind of assume that with celebrities that they probably have stalkers, but that's not something that always gets talked about. Right, you know, right. it's, it's not always, unless it gets like really crazy. Yeah. So um, that, that was something that I learned differently, you know, knew um, about her and the fact that she produced this. And this was like the first time, uh, she ever produced something, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I love that. Like, I love, you know, especially like, uh, in the Hollywood industry, when black folks are able to have their name on something, but and be in charge of stuff. Like, that's dope to me. You know, 
Who um, directed it? You know, they uh, uh Sullivan. I think it's Peter Sullivan directed it. Yeah, Peter yeah. Sullivan. Um so yeah, that that was cool. I mean, the interview, I, I definitely also recommend that you guys check out the full interview mm-hmm. on um the African American Film Critic Association's YouTube channel. They post okay. a full, it's like an hour long. So, but the cool thing about it is when when you know, because what I'd like to do, I like to research whoever I'm interviewing first like i i I will go and watch like a couple of hours of your other interviews because i already understand as a celebrity you're sitting there doing five different interviews in like a couple of hours sitting in the same place all day and that stuff can get boring so i don't want to sit here and ask you the same question over and over and over again so I always try and like research a little bit and then, you know, throw a curveball at you, something to make you think, something to make you laugh. So just to kind of wake you up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's definitely uh, something to check out. But as for my review for the movie, the headline I put. I stutter and start off. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't know you wanted me to talk about the movie. <laughs> okay, well, let, let, let me make it simple. I, I'll, put, I'll tell simple. you the headline I gave. The headline okay. I gave was if BET made a lifetime movie on Netflix, that's what <laughs> oh, Fatal no, Affair is. Oh, not like that. That's what it, but that's what it is. Well, and, it is and, and the thing is, I'm trying to be very fair. Wow. Take that for however you he, want. He if is. you like BET movies, if you like lifetime movies, yo, yeah, it's on it's Netflix. This yeah. all you now. If you if you are like me and you don't particularly care for that, you like oh, you know. So yeah. Well, let me say this. Let me yeah. say this in response because yeah. me and Larry did the trailer review for it last week, okay. and we categorically said we love everybody that was in the movie, but we weren't gonna watch it. I feel okay. That. I feel fast that. forward to a week. Yeah. You know, um, my favorite people on YouTube, black folks that do reviews, you pair of weight. Um, y'all done, y'all saw it, so I said to myself, "She okay, was on that call too, by the way." Pay her way. I know she was on there. <laughs> yeah. we, we we gonna have her. We're trying to get her Monday because we okay. want to torment her. Larry okay. likes to torment her when he brings her on the show. Tell her I said what's up. Cool. I, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna have y'all together one day. That's cool but too. <laughs> we saw it, and and me and Larry felt like, okay, we've seen Hollywood do this story over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. But me and my wife sat down and watched it. And I have to be honest, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I actually mm. enjoyed it Neil right Long. Right I actually, I actually enjoyed it. Okay. I, it now, now to, say, to say I enjoyed it doesn't mean that I'm saying it's a blockbuster classic. Right. Mm. Right. So, yeah, it's on right. Netflix. It's on Netflix. It is okay. All right, yeah. that's what I was. Wondering. I, I might maybe I'll check it out tonight. I, I pretty much when I saw the trailers, I was like, eh, I'll pass. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I, look, I, I'll be honest. If I didn't have that interview lined up, I wouldn't have watched it. Yeah, I, and, it, it's just it wouldn't have been something on my radar to even try to yeah. see. You know, if you and Sharonda had not reviewed it, mm. I wouldn't have watched it. And, and, you know, part of it is, too, is like, I mean, I I like Nia Long, so, you know, I try and support when I can. So I may have, you know, if it had been a different time, I may have decided to watch it. But I'll be honest with you, with the way things are going right now in the country and the world in general, I am I find myself leaning towards more feel good movies. You know, my wife is literally exactly like that. Like she don't want to watch nothing serious. No more. (laughs) No dramas. No nothing. Comedy, lighthearted. So I feel you on that. And I'm okay with action joints. Like the old guard was decent. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's stuff that, I mean, there's stuff that you don't have to worry about suspending your disbelief because it's so far gone from reality. You're just like, okay, whatever. It's it's, it's escapism at that point. I don't want anything that could be real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because it seems like we're living in some dystopia America, some of the things going around. It's like you're living in a movie every day. And my man lives in the Chicago area. So he's getting something on a different level than what me and Larry might be seeing. Times the COVID-19 stuff going on in the background. Yeah. Yeah, It's it's, um, it's a lot. 